Welcome to part two of our recessed toilet paper holder installation. This is my 2015 Tab Max S trailer, and this is the bathroom. And as tight as it is, you can see that that's why I don't want to have something sticking out <laughs> into this space. It's pretty small. So we're going to step on in. And when you sit in here, um, I have been thinking about putting it over here on the left, but it's kind of crowded over here. I have two choices. I have this wall, which is hollow, and I have this wall, which is hollow. The interesting thing here is that I've got a, when you push here, I've got a stud right here, and I've got a stud right here, and this area is hollow. On the other side of this wall, there's an inspection um, panel so that you can get to the two lines that run down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to move this these uh, um, shower faucets down by about six inches, no big deal, maybe a foot, move them down here. And I'm going to put the toilet paper holder right where this is. Let's go out, out around the other side of the wall and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is gonna be a really nice, easy install. And it's obvious that that's a great place to put it. It'll be out of the way, um, really nice. So let's go take a look. So, um, I've got my Aldi control taken off. I wanted to look around in here, see what's going on. And I've also got this panel. You know this panel. This is the access panel that they give you. Just got screws that you take off and it pops off. No big deal. We'll put it out of the way. But look at, but look at that. Those are the two, um, the hot and the cold line that run to the shower. Well, the interesting thing here is, is that is exactly wide enough to put this to put this in and it'll be exactly deep enough because remember as we talked about in the first video the surface the other side of this panel and this side of this panel are exactly as deep as this is and since the cover panel mounts on the surface it should exactly exactly fit so no big deal I'm going to take cut these uh the pex um crimp copper crimps off remove this faucet move it down um just to give me room to put the uh the um, paper towel holder or not the paper towel holder the toilet paper holder in in this position so the holes if we look back inside um any holes that were here um will be covered by you know that's the area i'm going to cut out anyway um this should work out great um, I would put it under here, but we got pipes in there. So if I move this down, everything will be cool. Um, so let's get at that. Um, Tic Tac here has been winterized, so I don't have to worry about water anywhere. It's going to be great. Um, let's just go ahead and start disassembly of that water system of those lines. And we'll get, uh, we'll get this guy marked and, and on its way. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the faucets, take this all off here, um, unscrew it from this side and pull the, the um, shower uh, faucet off. So let's get at it. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to take off the shower, just uh, get this out of the way and it just unscrews. Just like that, no big deal. And we'll bring this out of here. Next thing we do is these PEX lines, they just unscrew, just like that. I've got the red one already off. You see how that just, no big deal, they just screw on. Then, 
just reach here and take these keepers off. Again, this is no big deal. Don't drop anything. You don't want it to go down there and disappear. Get that keeper off. And now that those keepers are off, you can come in here, grab your shower, and lift it out. No big deal. So now you can see, I'm just going to move this down here, which won't be any big deal. And that opening will be where, uh, um, where toilet paper holder goes. It's something I'm noticing. You see a little bit of shower muck there. They didn't seal around this, which they should have. Um, and when I put it back on, they will. I will. But um, you could see water was getting back behind here a little bit. It's not a good thing to have happen. So um, I'm going to go ahead and mark now where the toilet paper holder is going to go. And uh, we'll start cutting. Okay, one last look before we hard to hold the camera and climb in this. But one last look <coughs> before we get in here. You see how where the shower was, that's where I'm going to put this guy, just like that. See how it'll cover where those holes were? Um, I need to measure how far it needs to go back and forth to get into the middle of that cavity. Um, measure from this back wall. And uh, hold it up and trace around it and get it just right and then carefully cut right on that opening. We'll okay, that. here we are back in the bathroom. Um, I've done an exploratory. I've taken a saw and run back here a few inches, or not a few inches, about a half inch, till it butts against the stud that's here. And I've done the same thing on the other side. So that shows me the maximum distance I can I can I can cut. I've also used a square, and I have marked a six inches from here to here. Now. The bezel is a little bit bigger than six inches, so I'm going to cut out here a six, a six by six square. Um, and I do that because I, it's a lot easier to take away wood than to add wood. So I make small cuts, then I'll hold the bezel up and make an exact cut. So this is just to get the opening sort of framed in and where I want it to be. Um, we'll do it with a, with a light pencil and uh, we'll, we'll get this open. Okay, hopefully you can see that. But very lightly in pencil, I've marked my six by six opening, and that's where that bezel's gonna go. Um, remember, measure once, measure twice, measure three, measure four times, measure five times before you make a cut. Measure once, measure twice. <laughs> Don't, uh, this is not the place to be making mistakes. So uh, be careful what you're doing, and uh, Start small and then in increase the size of the hole to what you need. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. Oh first no! Cut. I have totally ruined my bathroom. <laughs> so here's that first section that's that's come out. That gives me a lot better access. I can see where the studs are on both sides now, and you can see how I'm going to cut that water that water down. Um, we're we're good to go. We're getting there, folks. So I need to just next take the. Uh, take the bezel and put it up here and start fitting it in exactly as we need. So uh, I'll be back to you when we've got that uh, cut to the right size. See you in a bit. Okay, here's a demonstration of what I wanted to show you what I'm doing. If you look here, this bezel, it's arched up. It goes up and down like that. So even though I cut a square hole, can you see here how the, I've traced a line of the actual size? See that? So now I'm going to carefully cut that, and I need to do that to the bottom and the sides also. Um, but that's what I mean. I get a general size hole, and then I start trimming it to exactly fit. So we'll go ahead and do that to all four sides. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Um, Carve these to a bow. I had to carve back in here just a little bit into that stud um, and a, a little bit on the other side too, just to give this clearance. Um, but that's going to be spectacular right there. Um, that is the place to go. And the nice thing is, is, since there's a stud here and there's a stud here, these screws, guess what? They go into the stud. So this is going to be really strong because uh, they're not just going into the um, in the paneling they're actually going into studs 
That's awesome. I love that. Um, working out just great. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these, uh, those copper um, crimps, pex crimps, and uh, take these um, elbows off, cut the pipes down, drill some holes down here where I can mount the, uh, where the uh, faucet was here. The faucet will be here. No big deal. Okay, here we are back. I'm going to mount the um, shower faucets right here. Important thing is, two of them, these are four inches on center, four inches apart from one another, and they're seven eighths inch. So I'm going to take a seven eighths inch paddle bit. I'm going to take a square and I'm going to mark a line across there, find the exact center of that place and drill those holes and we can go ahead and mount the shower back, the shower faucet back in hey, place. Hey, hey, we're making progress. There's the faucet. So next what we're going to do is cut this here and cut, cut the two pipes there so I can take that in my shop um, with a Dremel tool and cut through the copper things or the copper crimpers and um, start making measurements to get those pipes connected to our new faucet. Excellent. Okay, here we are on the back side. You can see I temporarily have the shower um, bolted up. No big deal, it's just temporarily. I need to put uh, caulk on the other side before I permanently put it up here. But we now are just gonna take a pair of cutters I'm gonna, these are our PEX cutters, and we're just going to clip these guys off. Plenty of length. So now I can take that into my shop and cut that, uh, that copper uh, crimp off of both of these. Okay, I've we'll just cut the PEX crimps off, pulled the pipes off, and now I've got reusable elbows. So we're going to put those elbows on that pipe. Just screw them on like that so that I can measure exactly how long I need to cut that pipe. We'll cut it and recrimp, and we're almost there, folks. Okay, yeah. I have crimped on new copper PEX uh, lines, and that nice, um, hot and cold. So now the cover can go back on here when I'm ready. Um, I believe I am ready to put caulk on this and uh, on that and mount it. I think we're ready to go. I think I've done all the cutting and all the damage I need to do. So, um, I'll show you the end of this, but caulking, you know, everyone knows how to do that. You just put a little bit of bead on the back side of this, and little is better. Too much is a mess. You want to put just, just the right amount on there, um, just enough so it just barely squeezes out. And you want to put some between the, the faucet and the wall and the faucet and the gray thing here. You also, when you, when you, um, this bezel, the um, toilet paper holder itself snaps into place and you want to put caulk around here too so that water doesn't go between these two gaps and in there. So caulk on the outside of this, caulk on the inside of this, caulk on the outside of that, and caulk on the inside of that. And we're ready to go. Um, excellent, excellent. We're done, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't usually get too excited about uh, toilet paper rollers, but isn't that awesome? That doesn't stick out of the wall any farther than uh, than the faucet does itself. Very, very cool. So there's faucet and toilet. And I love how it winds itself up. Um, it's just, it's just awesome. And right, right. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Let's show you the back side. So you see how it all came out. Look at that. It is flush with the back of this. So when I put this panel back up, inspection panel, look at that. It's absolutely hidden. And I can get to it if I ever have any trouble. So I got to clean up a little bit, um, tighten up some of these faucets, 
but uh, thanks again for joining me. Um, if you want a toilet paper roller that doesn't uh, doesn't protrude into the bathroom very far, that's the that's the way to go. Excellent. Thanks for joining me. Strive safe. <laughs> See you later. Thank you.